Hey guys, Nate Hill here. I'm going to talk to you guys about my Fortnite settings here that I'm running on the Acer Predator Orion 5000. This PC comes with an 8th gen Intel Core i7 processor, which all gamers or all streamers know that it's the most important thing you can have in a computer. Let's get into it. We start with frame rate unlimited because we have such a beast of a PC, like you want to have your frames unlimited. You want to be at the highest you can possibly be at. You can get away with putting everything on Epic if you really, really just want the game to look beautiful, but the game itself doesn't perform as well on all Epic. It has nothing to do with what, how good a computer you have. You just want to have it a little bit turned down. Have V-Sync off, motion blur off as well. That just makes the game run smoother. So my settings are going to be a lot different than maybe other people's and possibly different than from what you should use, but this is just as what has worked for me. I, I use a a 0 0.10, 0 0.10 with 800 DPI on my mouse. Some people say it's fast, but I enjoy that for quick shotgun flicks, for faster builds, for sniper scopes. Other than that, it's a little worse for long range AR accuracy, but these are some things that you sacrifice if you want to be better close range slash build faster. But again, it's all subjective. Like whatever works for you and is most comfortable for you is what you should use. But these are just some of the things that I, I prefer. So essentially the most important thing I think in this game is to have very comfortable hotkeys that you're used to and you don't need to look down and at your keyboard. The second you look down at your keyboard, the guy you're facing has a second advantage on you. And I think probably the most important hotkeys are building. So I have a Q for wall, F for floor, V for stairs, and C for roof. They're all amongst the WASD home keys like they're all very close to that so you don't have to reach that far in order to defend yourself or go for high ground etc the rest is just whatever you want like your emote slot your, your chat slot your toggle map inventory it can be whatever you want but the most important I, I would say are the build keys being amongst your WASD home keys so yeah another important thing is to test out a bunch of different hotkeys as well like I've been playing this game since it came out, I guess like two weeks after it came out. And I've been trying different hotkeys for over a year now. And I still I still don't think I'm done where I wanna be as far as what are the best hotkeys for myself. So the biggest thing I could say is just keep testing out, keep trying things. You're gonna be bad at first and it's gonna take a, maybe a couple days. Uh, a rule of thumb for me I found is one hotkey I could probably relearn and get comfortable with within a day. So you change seven hotkeys, it might take a week to really get comfortable if you're an experienced computer gamer. Those have been my Fortnite settings. I hope you guys learned a little bit more about how I play Fortnite and how I compete at the highest level. If you want to see more videos like this, go to Acer's training room website and they have other gamers on other platforms going very in depth on how they play the game and which computers and what specs they use. So make sure you check that out. Take care, guys.